What's going on guys, it's me Plasky Games here and today we're fetching you another work it in Reds vlog Last game of the season, we've already got the playoffs but it, You might think this game seems like it's last game and we've already got playoffs It doesn't mean anything, it actually does Now as you can see the league table there We're fourth, Stalbridge are third, Natwich are fifth And Spennymoor are actually second, now we can actually finish second If Barwell beats Spennymoor, if Natwich either draw or beat Stalbridge then if we win, then we finish second, which means we get the home game and the final at home as well. But I doubt that Barwell, who are 12, are going to beat Spennymoor in second. And basically, it's not going to be easy either. Wait, we're actually going to ring Jordan, put him on speaker, and see what the top four, uh, the top five, sorry, till seconds actually playing against. Spot ring you back there, Paul. So all right. The second player fifth and the third player fourth. Yeah, it's like that, uh, So as things stand now, Sutton are in the relegation zone. I think any odds, I think it's a bottom four. And if they win or get a point and Corby Town lose, then Sutton stay up and Corby go down. But as things stand now, if it stays like that, Sutton do indeed go down. So with all that said, eventually after five minutes, we'll just go to the Reds game now. But I won't disagree. When, when, when they're playing the hard game, I swear. Get a gap and shoot out of here. Yeah, that's some matter where support that line. Don't get down on them and come down for you. That's why, just to get out of a little bit of a guess there. Probably 
ini ganteng Ini orang Ini Fans are in relegation. Like they're relegated. And they've got that many out with a drum. That's just fucking bizarre. Oh, let's join it. Hey, Ben. That's mad, like. Right. There's a fucking fight for relegation, we've got that many coming up, that's fucking mental. You know, they were like, gay, but I'm not just not showing Lost today? It must be. Yeah, I think it's either. Oh, it's hard to come off. This is incredibly good. No, we're gonna definitely turn to
Long two man. And yes, I will thank God for that. This turn up. They've stayed up. Going up, so we're probably going up. <laughs> Got mid, so we're better team. <laughs> Never gonna lie, we like one. So, guys, that is indeed the end of the match. Unfortunately, he finished nil nil, and Sutton stayed up, so their fans were happy. We've got playoffs tomorrow, which is indeed Monday, and um, yeah, I got told to do something at the end of the vlogs just to show this to you guys. Uh, I'll try and read it out, <laughs> but uh, for, for most of you that don't know, I'm dyslexic, so yeah, this could take a bit to like, get out of my mouth. Regional Community Building Partnerships and Pathways in Support. Providing West Cumbria with PE, provisional holiday camps, skills sessions, birthday parties, disabilities, uh, disability street sports and pathways for elite footballers at work at Reds Performance Centre. Follow us on social media at redsinvid.com Hashtag RITC So yeah, um, I actually did record a bit more for this video. Like, there's a trophies thing, but my camera did indeed die just before the players were about to get theirs, but there was some that people got, like, the two with the club and that and I got them on camera, so I was going to put them in the end now. Um, the end of this evening will be uh, the Player of the Year awards, but before that we've got today's awards from our sponsors. We've got some thank yous to do for uh, through the season, um, and the Reds Independent Supporters Club have also got some awards to give out, which is absolutely terrific. The first thing I suppose that we should say before we go on any further, of course, is that the Reds' next match will be on Monday night away at Stourbridge in the playoffs for the third consecutive season. Can we have a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you. was the friends and family of Barry Fisher and Barry McGurk and uh, as a thank you to them we have a commemorative uh, shirt which we would like to, uh, pre like to present to Kevin Baker. Kevin, thank you. <laughs> and today's man of the match, just checking how I've got this right, is Sam Smith. Well done Sam. <laughs> The second, the second award for, for a fan is for somebody who drives the bus uh, to every away game, or you put a sport this bus, someone who makes the cakes and does well in the horse racing, and it's someone who administers nursing if the lads have a bad stomach, hangover, which happens all the time, and even helps out with Matlock fans who've had a heart attack. It is, of course, a woman, I'm humbled to call my wife, Elaine Heron. Please come forward.